this wind did something today. We'll see if the microphone can pick me up because it is blustery outside. So I just did um, a little teaser video when I was doing one on the Halversons that are on my gooseneck over there. So uh, yes, we do have some log loader trailers in stock. So let me flip the camera around. I'll tell you briefly about each one and I might even throw some prices out there. All right, for all of you guys that do not want to deal with the CDL stuff, uh, this is a 10,000 pound low profile with fenders, deck over, or not deck over, duh, it has fenders, uh, dump trailer. Um, we did outfit this one with 7,000 pound axles, so technically it could be raised to 14,000 pounds. Uh, we couldn't find the, the little six lug 5k axle. So what do you do? Well, we upgrade things. So, uh, it is coming with a VIN sticker for 10,000 pounds, but we can increase it to 14,000 pounds. Uh, they do have the eight lug solid steel wheels. Uh, these are actually a 17.5 tire, uh, and that load range J and 18 ply. Uh, the body is 6 feet wide by 12 feet long with an approximate 48 inch side, 24 inches worth of metal, 24 inches worth of mesh. So fenders kind of overhang. And those numbers, the 6 by 12 is on the inside of the box. Um, again, 8 lug, 7,000 pound axles. There's the 17.5 size bearing buddies on all four wheels. Nice little Honda GX240 with an electric start. In tank hydraulic filter. Big telescopic ram in the front. And yes, you can load the tow vehicle. That is part of the nicety of having a bumper pull. Uh, the smaller loaders do carry a 36 inch grapple and I will tell you it has no problem picking up these two logs I've got some pictures out there. This is just a quick walk around um, The PID 13 means it's 13 feet worth of reach from the center of the loader to the center of the grapple So it gives you just enough to reach over curbside. Uh, this is ready to pick up right about 1600 to 1800 pounds. It is pretty stout now uh we get into these are a seven by 16 16 000 pound i did galvanize both the frame and the dump frame uh, these are coming again with the same 17.5 load range j tires we have equipment ramps great big toolbox on the front 19 foot reach loader which means right about where the the grapples are sitting on either one they are rated to pick up 3,000 pounds at the half reach point they are a 45 or not 45 a 48 inch pass-through grapple again equipment ramps galvanized frame galvanized dump frame uh the bunk poles we even do the trucker straps here down the sign for putting up and over your logs. I like to throw down a four by four. That way it keeps the wood off the deck and you can get the grapple just about underneath it without scratching the deck. Again, that same telescopic ram in the front. We are running a Kohler Command Pro 14 horse. It's a 429 cubic inch motor. Or not cubic inch, cubic centimeter, CC, haha. -ha. Again, the twin turn tubes, so you can run the loader out over the tow vehicle. It's our 48 inch pass through versus the 36. This is the 714 1400. Seven foot by 14 feet, 14,000 pounds with a 170. And right about where it sits, it's rated for about 21 to 2,300 pounds there at the half reach. Now let me just shoot some ballpark prices. The low profile with the fenders is about 29,000. Either one of the galvanized frames 
with the 19 foot reach loader has a seven by 16 deck over dump 16,000 pound uh, that is tandem 8k axles i forgot to mention that before with the galvanization there should be about forty six thousand dollars i will mark that down to 43.5 and then the 714 uh, is going to run right about thirty nine thousand so 39 43 5 and 29,000 is what we need to get out of these but they are available for immediate pickup or we can order you a new one if these disappear all right so as always i would love absolutely love to get you a sales quote if you are watching our videos uh, i do not get paid by the manufacturer to shoot these so we are doing these as a marketing tool to reach you and hopefully earn your business. And uh, please give me a phone call. It's 833-SPLITTER. That's 833-775-4887. You can also email me at sales at shaverequipment.com. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And uh, if you have any questions, give me a phone call.